are my dear friend. Well, yes, I know it's been a while that I've not been around. Well, today I'm here. You know, after many questions that some people are asking me about the cameras and the smartphones, today I decide to make such a kind of a testing between my camera, XH2S Fuji with the lens of 16mm and my new phone iPhone 16 Pro Max. Well, many people in social media are using the smartphones to make their videos or their photos and they believe the quality of these photos or the videos are amazing and wish they don't need any cameras anymore. But today I'm going to show you are they really good enough as we have with the professional cameras or not. So with this camera, we're going to go and see if we can beat this new iPhone 16 Pro Max or not. I'm gonna tell you some capabilities of these two devices that I'm holding in my hands. I'm talking about iPhone 16 Pro Max. It can record the videos in 120 frames in 4K, which is so good. Also, it has 48 megapixels photo abilities. That is also amazing. And also, it can record the videos in log mode, which is wow. So anybody can see these details, can say, well, that's what I need, and I don't need any cameras anymore. Well, I'm talking now about my XH2S camera, which is the half frame. It can also record 4K 120 frames, but it has only 26 megapixels in photo mode, and also it can record the lock. I'm gonna go out and make the photos, videos in all different modes with my XH2S and also with my iPhone. Then we can see and we can compare all these touches together. Before going and start this testing, I want to emphasize on the price issue as well. Well, iPhone 16 Pro Max is around 1200 US dollars, but I'm talking about this set, which is only for photography and videography, which is almost 3000 US dollars. Well, some people may think if I pay only 1200 US dollars and buy one smartphone, I can do many things with 48 megapixels photos. So first of all, we have to check the quality and then we can decide.
some simple shots with videos or photos in different modes uh, because I want to show it to the normal users to show how practical it can be to use mobile phones or the professional cameras. Well, what I'm seeing in this, you know, camera, I can say 100 person, the photo's quality is, is so different. I mean, the iPhone or any other smartphones definitely cannot beat these professional cameras and photo shooting, but in videos, maybe. Let's go to the studio and we see it in the PC, then we can decide which one is better or more practical. We saw the shots. Uh, actually, yesterday when I was taking these shots, videos or the photos, when I was watching inside this phone in the monitor, uh, in my eyes, even the photos, uh, it was not that bad. The videos were fine. But when it came to the PC and when I was making this comparison between my Fuji camera and the shots that I took with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, I could see that there is a very big gap between the smartphone, this iPhone 16 Pro Max, and my professional camera, Fuji X-H2S. Well, I think, well, uh, okay, I can admit that the Pro Max, the 16 Pro Max, got a lot of improvement, got a lot of theme, new theme, new touches, but it's still, there is a very difference between this smartphone and the camera. When you are making the photos or the videos with your smartphone, it lacks digital. It, it it is so digital. I mean, it seems that it has a kind of self recreation. So it's not that real. Okay, it's so clean, clear. Maybe it's so good for those, for example, people who works in social media, Instagram, and they want to make the very quick shots. But when you are doing or when you are making the shots with your professional camera, and if you are a professional photographer, then it's not acceptable at all. First of all, I want to show you some of the photos between these two devices that I have, and I'll be back for the conclusion. the photos i think this generation of the smartphones even though they've got a lot of improvement but they've got nothing to say compared to the professional camera so if you want to become the professional photographer then you have to definitely go go for the professional cameras nice devices and you know go with that path i mean it's it's nothing to compare between smartphones and the professional gears of photography or videography. The biggest problem and the biggest, I think, weakness of this smartphone was the book in videos or even in the photos. It was so bad, actually. And the quality, the images, everything. It was, it was so digital. It was not real, it was not soft. So, I don't know. Uh, if you have followed me before in my different, you know, videos, and that I made uh, in my channel, you could understand that I'm the fan of Canon. And even uh, with the Fuji, which was, you know, for me got a lot of texture and it, it, it doesn't look so real for me, even the phone, this smartphone couldn't beat it. Anyhow, I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, you could get some point between this iPhone 16 Pro Max and the professional cameras. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the videos and leave me comments. Until my next video, see you later.